Kratky is a passive method of hydroponics where plants are grown in a nutrient solution. I've had these two Tabasco plants in these small Kratky setups, but they've kind of stalled out, so today I'm moving them to bigger buckets that I've filled about three quarters of the way full with water and then added my general hydroponics nutrients in a vegetative growth ratio. After adding these nutrients to the water, I also balanced the pH of the final solution. These jars are pretty small systems, but I'm impressed at the size of roots I got out of it. I'm just gonna coax them out here. And then what I've done since these are in the era garden baskets is just drilled a correctly sized hole in the bucket lid and then gonna add them to the buckets. All buttoned up, let's see how they do. All right, three weeks in their larger crack key buckets and these Tabascos are doing much better. They're still pretty tall and slender, but they have gotten a lot of new growth. Uh, they're forking a couple times. The new growth is dark green and looks very healthy, unlike kind of that older yellow growth. They've actually been flowering some too. And the most exciting update is we have small Tabasco peppers popping up in a few places. Very tiny for now. There's one there. And there's one there. They're still flowering as well and putting off new flower buds, which is exciting. So again, that's a three week update. I'll probably provide another update in a couple weeks once they flower more or maybe once I'm picking some Tabasco peppers, but glad to see these plants doing better. All right, it's been a couple weeks since an update on these crack key Tabascos. I really haven't done anything to them other than just move them into the sun a bit more. And they seem to really be liking that. Uh, you can see they're covered in little Tabasco peppers kind of up and down here, as well as still blooming. So they've got fresh flowers kind of all up in there, as well as all these awesome looking little Tabasco peppers standing up. Uh, all green still, no red ones but I'll be anxiously watching. My next video will probably be a harvest on these, but they seem to be doing really well. The uh, buckets I don't think are getting too hot because they seem to be thriving. They did each kind of fall down, as you can see there, and I was struggling trying to put them back up for a while, but then kind of just embraced it. And the main stem just laid horizontal, and after that, all these new shoots started coming out the top. So kind of a cool way to grow peppers honestly with them the main stem sideways and all these new ones coming up uh, this is the frutessens variety so it really does branch heavily anyways and doesn't seem to mind at all so that's another update my next video will be when i get to pick some of these and enjoy them all right guys today is a big day for these plants for a couple of reasons the first of which is this one that's wilty has officially drank all of its nutrient solution in here. So, so this bucket is empty and I didn't know till it started wilting literally today. Um, but that's pretty impressive. I haven't had to do anything this whole time. That bucket has just uh, been full of water and supplying the plant. So I'm about to get the bucket filled back up for that one. This bucket still has a little bit in it. Uh, I think it's about here. But the exciting thing for this plant is that we have our first couple red Tabasco peppers. So this is a beautiful plant. I love all the peppers coming up on it and we've officially done it. We have grown crack key Tabascos. I think some of these are getting that right shade of red almost to where I can pick them. Uh, these are actually interesting peppers and in that you don't have to really break the stem off the plant. You just pick the whole pepper and it comes like right off the stem, just like that. So excited, very excited to have my first few Tabasco peppers. This has probably been my best year for Tabasco uh, between these buckets and a few that I have just in grow bags. But you can see how loaded down this is and I'm excited to uh, see what's next for these plants and get some big harvests. All right, I've given my bucket a quick rinse, filled it about two thirds of the way up with uh, clean water. And then I mixed these uh, in a one, two, three uh, ratio, which is blooming and ripening. And now I'm gonna put my plant back in and check out these roots. I think they're doing pretty good. 
So I'm gonna put this in and just snap the lid back on. Then I'm gonna do the next one and probably my next and last video on these will be when I'm harvesting kind of all these as they're ter turning red, so. All right, guys, it's been a couple weeks and all of these peppers are going red. So check out all of these Tabasco peppers I have on these plants in the crack key buckets. Uh, I've been kind of, you know, just selectively picking a few as needed uh, as I'm cooking and stuff over the past few weeks because they didn't all ripen at the same time. There's been some that have been ripe for a while, but today I'm going to pick the rest of these and man, just look how many of these beautiful little red Tabasco peppers we have. So I'm going to pick uh, all the red ones today and then we'll see how many we get. Then I'll close this one out. All right, check out all these beautiful and spicy Tabasco peppers I just got off these plants today. There's still at least that many on the plants uh, at various stages of ripening, but I am gonna close this one out here. Uh, I don't think I even gotta tell you what I'm gonna do with all these peppers, but if you're interested in seeing a Louisiana style sauce be made, I've got a recipe on my page for that. So go check that out. And if you are still watching, go ahead and subscribe too. That helps me out a lot. And here's one more look at these Tabasco plants in some crack key buckets among my other pepper plants. And yeah, just thank you so much for watching.